<laughs> what is up guys, today I'm going to show you how you can set up your main menu so you can flick between pages, start your game and exit your game in a matter of minutes. This is everything you need to know to produce any main menu you want, so let's get into it. First we're going to create a new level dedicated to our main menu. So right click, new level and call this main menu map. Now let's create our menu widget, so right click, UI, widget. Call this main menu WB, which stands for widget blueprint. Let's hop into the level we just created, then jump into the level blueprint by going blueprints, level blueprint. Bring in a create widget node and select your widget. Pull off this and add to viewport. Bring in a get player controller and off this bring in a set input mode UI only and a set show mouse cursor and have it checked. So we're creating our widget, adding it to the screen and showing our mouse. Okay, now let's hop into our actual widget. So the way we're going to be navigating through our menu is going to be with a widget switcher as this allows us to very easily swap between widget pages. So drag a widget switcher into the widget set its anchor to viewport and scale it to cover the entire page. Now under this, drag in two canvas panels. Call one main menu and call the other settings. Under our main menu, I'm gonna drag in a button, then I'm gonna drag a text on top of it. Change the text to play and then click on the button and rename it to play button. Select the button and under anchor, select the middle anchor. Then give it an alignment of 0.5 for the X and Y and set the X to zero. By changing the anchor and resetting its location, we can directly align the button in the center of the page. Now select the button again and press Ctrl C to copy it. Select our main menu, then press Ctrl V to paste. When it's pasted, select the main menu again and press Ctrl V to paste in another. Then select our settings canvas panel and paste in one more. For the second button, set the X to zero and lower the Y until it's below the other button. Rename the button to settings button, then change the text to settings. Now do the same for the third button. Set the X to zero, lower the Y to below the other button, rename the button exit button, and change the text to exit. Now for our settings button, set the X to zero, rename the text to settings, and call the button settings back to menu button. So you'll notice when we select our settings canvas panel, the other buttons disappear. This is because of our widget switcher. Everything under the widget switcher is a new page and can be switched between by changing the widget switcher index. Page one is index zero, page two is index one, etc. So if you want more pages, feel free to throw them in. Now hop into the graph. For each button on the left, bring in a on-clicked event. For the play button, bring in a open level node and write the name of your first map. For the settings button, control drag in our widget switcher pull off it and bring in a set active widget index node. Type one for the index. For the exit button, bring in a quit game node. And for our settings back to menu button, select our widget switch functionality and press control W to duplicate. This time set the index to zero. And that my friends is all the functionality you need to produce any kind of main menu. Use the widget switcher to switch between pages and use the button on clicks to add in any functionality you want. The next step for you is to dollar up a bit. So you can do this by adding a background image or playing a video behind your menu options. If you're adding a background image, add this in above the widget switcher to maintain the image regardless of what page the widget is on. If you want to add a video, feel free to check out one of my older tutorials on this. I'll leave a link in the description. So there it is guys, thank you for watching, I will see you in the next one.